some assembly required. Good luck. On mobile so apologies for any formatting issues. First post as well. This happened several years ago. I was the nighttime charge nurse over the ICU. I'd just finished a 12-hour shift at my hospital that had turned into a 14-hour shift because of a rapid response right before shift change. Patient responded well. I was exhausted and had to return for a fourth shift in nine hours. All I wanted were some items to drop in the slow cooker so I'd have something to eat when I got up tonight. I stopped at a well-known big-box store that sells groceries, clothes, electronics. I'm wearing royal blue scrubs, a name badge with a big RN under it and forgot to take my stethoscope off so it's hanging around my neck. The employees here, well, don't. As I'm walking towards the store, I see an elderly couple struggling to load a large box in their SUV parked at the front of the store. And I mean old. 90 plus shaky hands. Teetering around with limited mobility. The kind I see with a med list three pages long. No way would his hips take the weight without snapping. And I've worked enough tonight. I approach quickly and address the female half of the couple offering help. It was gladly accepted and I got their TV loaded with very little difficulty. It was more cumbersome than heavy. I'm chatting with the woman who is explaining it's a gift for their son and her husband hadn't wanted to wait for help. I'd wondered why an employee wasn't helping. That's when it happened. I will be RN. She will be Eb for entitled bitch. Eb. Hey. Hey. Startled, we stop our conversation and look over. It's a lady in her 50s dressed in a cheap-looking beige pants suit with a get-your-manager hairstyle standing about 15 feet away with a hand on her overly broad hip. Eb, if you are about done. I need help over here. She then points to her cart with two boxes of bookshelves. Some assembly required. I realize she thinks I work here. RN. Oh sorry. I don't work. Eb, you are already making me late. Just get it done. Got and don't scratch my paint up. The elderly lady and I exchange looks of disbelief and I try again. RN. I don't work he. Eb. Just get it done. She then steps away from her cart to grab her purse grumbling about fucking idiots and is digging for her keys when the cart rolls further away and one wheel goes off the curb. The entire uneven load causes the cart to topple over. I instinctively jump forward to try to prevent everything from falling. I was unsuccessful. Eb, who has now turned to see her particle board bookshelves spilled out on the cement. Corners of the boxes crushed and one has torn open with a few pieces and packaging now exposed. Eb completely loses her shit and becomes a raging thunder, asterisk nt. Eb. What the fuck? You fucking moron. Pick them up. God damn it. I'm going to have you fired. You owe me new bookshelves. And I'm late. At this point. I'm done. RN. Pick them up yourself. I don't work here. I then turn to go inside when I feel her grab my sleeve and try to yank me around. I jerk my sleeve out of out of grip and turn to face her now violently red face. She opens her mouth to start screaming again but I put my finger in her face and say. RN. No. Don't touch me. Shut the hell up. I do not work here, and even if I did. I'd quit before I help you clean up your shit. Eb stands there speechless. Mouth opening and closing. Sputtering in shock that I've dared raise my voice at her. That's when the manager and an employee come out. As Eb sees the manager and finds her voice. Eb. Are you the manager? This man damaged my bookshelves and is refusing to pay for them. I just stare in shock. Seriously? Having realized that a man in bright blue scrubs with a stethoscope and a big RN badge really doesn't work here. Instead of apologizing, she chooses to double down on the craziness and now accuses me of breaking her stuff. Before I can voice my denial the elderly gentleman I'd helped earlier steps in and explains the situation to the manager. Eb is still voicing complaints but the manager realizes the real situation and apologizes to me and the couple. I'm still standing by watching angrily as the manager deals with Eb and inspects the bookshelves. They are not damaged. He offers her two new boxes but Eb is now done with the whole situation. She says no. She's already too late because of me. Just glares over at me and says to the manager. Eb. Just load them. I'm already late enough because of this. 
The manager and employee then lift the boxes up and get them wedged into the lady's car. As I shake my head and go to enter the store I'm stopped by the elderly lady I'd helped earlier. Lady. Sir. Thank you so much for helping us with the TV. I'm so sorry some people are so rude. She then reaches for my hand to shake. As she folds both her fragile hands around mine, I can feel something in her palm she's giving me. Lady whispering, don't look yet. Wait till she leaves. I slide the package into my scrub pocket and Lady walks away. Ed then gets in her car and, without apologizing or thanking anyone, peels out and drives away. I finally enter the store to grab my food items and when I reach in my pocket I pull out a plastic bag with a bunch of screws and hardware. I realize immediately that the sweet little old lady took advantage of the commotion to steal the hardware out of Eb's ripped box. I couldn't believe it. I had the biggest grin on my face as I did my shopping. And I have a new petty revenge hero to idolize.